Hello and welcome back to Six Ashes. As you can see, got the armor track 1104 common rail with our mower, and I've just had another fly land on my foot. Fantastic. What we're going to do is we're going to get field 19 mowed. We are going to be needing some silage for the cows. Um, we have enough TMR to uh, keep us going possibly for this season. I'm not entirely sure. So I do want to get a, a good head start. There yeah, we're going to get that down. I do want to, like I said, get a good head start on the silage because it, it is going to need time to ferment. Oh, this little tractor doesn't struggle at all. I was going to... I was a little worried that uh, this tractor wouldn't be able to do it, but it proves me wrong. Like every other tractor normally does. Proves me wrong many times over. There we are around the tree. Get as much of this grass cut as possible. Don't want to get too close to the hedge. There we go. Really liking this little armor track. It's really nice. Nice little tractor. I'll go around here. Oh, this stay in line. What I'll do is I'll do this round and then uh, I'll swing the other way so it's going to be easier to figure out where I go. Because you can literally just drive over what you've just cut and basically that's where you need to be. Still, I didn't exactly pick the brightest of times, did I? 7.23. Well, I'll go around the headlands a couple of times. This field is actually a lot bigger. It's deceiving. It doesn't look that big when you look on the old uh, map on the GPS and everything like that. But when you actually get in the fields, they're, they're a lot bigger than they seem. That's for sure. Still nowhere near the size of like Welkers and everything. But, you know, their, their fields are huge. I mean. Right, here we go. Right. Just lift that up. Swing around. We'll get this cut. Right, let's go in cab for a little while. Oh, try and stay level. I really like this little tractor. Not a bad little tractor, in all fairness. I, I, honestly, I, I can't remember if I ever have uh, used this tractor. Probably have, probably haven't, I don't know. Still doing a good job. <coughs> oh dear. <clears throat> well, like I said, anyway, <laughs> we're going to be getting some silage ready for the cows. We need to put it in the bunker silo. Uh, I think the bunker silo is the one near the front of the farm. I think. I don't know. If you do know, let me know in the comments down below. If you know of anything else about this map, or you found something out, 
by all means feel free to leave it in the comments down below anything you can tell me will definitely definitely help me out that's for sure because I mean there's been comments that have told me things about other maps that I, I never knew and I wouldn't have known it without the comment section without your guys and girls help Is it me, or is it... Like, I'll watch other people's, um, you know, farming simulator and let's plays and, and things like that. But when somebody drives a tractor in cab and they have it like that, or they have it like that, or that, and it's not straight, is it just me, or just, does it... Just like, does, does, does it get to you? Uh, does the OCD kick in and you think, hmm... Unless, obviously, unless you're doing it really realistic, you're looking back and and things like that, then, I mean, yeah, that's fine, but the old OCD kicks in and you just want to scream at the TV to straighten the camera out. Nine times out of ten, I'll look back on some of mine and I'm like, oh, why did you do that, Mr. P? Or you'll think, I could have done it this other way. Why did I do it that way? I mean, I've done that so, so many times now. That's right, so what we're doing. All right, how are we going? Oh, we're getting on all right. So, right, I think we will do, as always, we're getting a little montage with this mower setup that we have on the armor track and uh, see this little beautiful baby at work. So we're back, two more passes, I think, this one and another one, and then we should be done uh, with a cut, or the mowing, whatever you want to call it, and then we're going to windrow it, and we're going to use that weird machine to collect it, never used that machine, so I have no idea how that's going to work out, fingers crossed it does work okay. I didn't ask for a worker, get moving. What? What is going on? I didn't even ask for a worker, don't start giving me that. There we go, start the mower. Let's go. Hmm, that was really weird. Let's get this wheel finished. I do think, did, was there a little strip over there on me? Hmm. I'm asking you like you saw it. I can't remember. I think I did get it. Oh yeah, I did. It was just here. The road was going down now. So that is it. That's this field. Completely cut. So we just got to go get the wind rower. Get that put on a tractor. Cows are looking happy out there. That's fantastic. Wish there was a gate there, that would have been nice. Alright, let's get out, open the gate. There we go. Gate opening. Oh. And the uh, cedar was a lot easier to get in the farm and get a rat. That's sliding down even further. Is that one? Yeah, that's moved. I really need to try and put those headers somewhere else. To just keep moving, which is a bit of an annoyance. But it is what it is. There we go. There we are. No doubt it's probably put me outside. Yep. Knew that was going to happen. What? 
Be Pure Longo. Ah, okay. Alright, so what we're gonna use, what we're gonna use for the El Windrower. Hmm. Should we use the case or should we use the John Deere? Actually, what power requirements is that? Let's check first. Don't want to grab something that can't do it. Windrow uh, 75. Okay, they can all do it. John Deere then. Oh, yes. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Get this out in the field. Give it a good run out. Okay. Go. Let's go. Let's get this wind road. Oh, try and squeeze out this door. I really do like this tractor. Which one is it that we're currently using? Let's have a look. It is the 4955EU. Really nice, and I like the the, the sounds that the, when it when you first turn it on. Listen to this. Oh, that just sounds absolutely beautiful. I love that. But, you know me, I constantly say, I love these old tractors. I really do. Let's see if we can actually turn in here. Uh... Oh, I actually did it. Fantastic. All right, let's get this closed. Oh, that just looks absolutely stunning. I'm really happy with that. Alright, let's get the old lights on so I can see in this dark bit. Straighten this out. Well, I didn't straighten that out really well, did I? Come on, Mr. P, what is going on with your steering today? And back up bit more, there we go, okay, let's get this lower down, let's get it started up, and let's get a move, oh, look at this, oh, that just suits this John Deere down to the ground, oh, I need to get a bit closer, Oh, how good does that look? It's like this John Deere was made for windrowing. Oh, I'm missing bits, of course I am. So there are a couple of dark areas where the trees are. That's why the lights are on. Either that or Mr. P's eyesight's just that bad. Alright. Well, this is doing a brilliant job. It's going to take a while to get this done, but once I've got the headlands done, we can just go up and down, get that done, and we'll come out in our little collector, which I'm really looking forward to using that, the, the Linda, I think it's the Linda, something like that, looking forward to using that, alright, get as close as I can, there we go, Right, let's crack on, let's get this done. Oh, I really do like how this John Deere looks with this windrower. Try and get it into as big a swap of as I, as I can. I might need to double up, do one swap, then do another swap and join them up. I think that'll probably be easier. 
So not exactly a massive swath. Then again, we didn't have a massive mower, and honestly, we didn't really need a, a really big overpowered mower like the Chrome Big M. I mean, do we own a lot of grass fields? Yes. But, you know, doing it this way gives the tractors a run out, and that's what I want. I want the tractors to... I want it to feel like you're actually farming. You know, if you're in a Chrome Big M, to me, is it farming? I don't know, but... I like being able to use a tractor, you know, and... I just, I'd like it that way. That's just me though, I'm probably just weird. You know, are there some maps where you, you need to use the Chrome Big M, of course. I mean, there are some maps out there that have absolutely huge <clears throat> grass fields. Let's just say PC, there's some of the like 16 times maps and whatnot that they have. I'm sure there's plenty of big massive grass fields on those. You know, at that time, then you are going to need the, the chrome big ammo. I mean, you're not going to want to do this up and down the field. Oh, and I've got the hiccups. I really do like this. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get in another quick montage uh, this beautiful John Deere in action. I mean, I really do. It really does look absolutely stunning on this windrower. I mean, beautiful. Just look at that. Stunning. So, montage time. So this, and a little bit down there, is the last piece. And then we'll be using that little linder. Uh, like I said, I have no idea what that's like. Um, <laughs> but we'll soon find out. Let's just go down here. Get this little bit. And I think that should be all of it windrowed. But I really do like this setup. This John Deere on this windrower. Really nice setup. I think that might be it. Did I miss a piece over here? I did. And I really do like the lights as well. I mean, can't complain. You do get enough light around. There we go. Just get that bit. Turn the lights off. Get that folded up. Right, so let's see what this uh, little Linda's all about. You can get loads of back attachments for it, so could possibly look at uh, getting different attachments for it. Off screen, I'll probably... What we're going to do, what we're going to do, because we own a lot of grass fields. If I come on here, this is just going to be far easier. And we'll go here. We own field 19, which is a grass field. We own this field here, 18. That is a big grass field as well. Up here, we own this. It's not got anything in it. Quite confusing with the uh, PDA. It's making it look like a grass field, but fair enough. We have this little field here. How do you get to this field? Uh, through, oh, through the back of the cows. Uh, pasture part. Okay. Fair enough. And then we own this big grass field here. I mean, yeah, I've got a little mower set up. But, you know, I'm happy as anything just to go around in that little thing and just get this grass cut. So I, don't, I really don't mind. <clears throat> and we own this grass field here. And I do believe if we scoot over here. Oh, over here. 21 here isn't a grass field, which is really, really confusing. 
and then 22 just hit the tractor's not that close is it hmm and on this field here which it they're not bad sizes at all i mean they're really impressive sizes now you look at the pda they look pretty small but uh yeah i'm definitely happy so we've got a lot of grass that needs doing because i'm possibly debating you'll have to let me know in the comments should we turn some of these grass fields that we have into arable fields we've got a fair few dotted around this field and around the farm so might be worth putting some cro Ooh, putting some oh there we go putting some crops in them i don't know you'll have to let me know in the comments uh, let's get this put somewhere and I still need to buy a pressure washer right, let's put this here for now and where does the cow's manure go? does it start here? where does it go? Does it is it in here in the middle? ah, oh, it's there <clears throat> okay, so I've got that storage area here Oh, okay, well that's good. Right, so... <coughs> here is the little Linda. Uh, Lindner. Let's get that off. And it collects it at the back. What is the capacity of this? I honestly, for the life of me, just cannot remember. It's not that, it's the back attachment that we need. 11,200, that ain't really bad. Being self-propelled as well, definitely going to make our life a lot easier picking all this up. And do I want it like that? No, I don't. Let's, there we go. Just front steer for now. I'll go and uh, get all that grass picked up. There we go. You'll have to let me know, if you're playing this map, what do you think to it? Oh... Uh, let's get that down. How exactly does this thing collect it? Oh, that is clever. Oh, that is really cool. <coughs> That's impressive. And you can go 12 mile an hour and collect it. I'm really, really happy with this. It doesn't have the biggest capacity. Wow, that's pretty loud. It doesn't have the biggest capacity. But still, being able to go 12 mile an hour, you're self-propelled. You don't need to keep messing around with... Uh, the loading wagons and having to reverse it around here, there and everywhere and jackknifing everywhere because that farm we own, CJ Farms, it isn't the biggest um, you know as we started off with the, that, that big cedar I soon found out that that was just too big uh, for the farm that we have so we've got the Cavernland DG2 you would have thought I would have known by now. I only talked about it in the last episode. This is really a nifty little thing, I've got to say. Why haven't I got this on my other map? I don't know. Because having this thing would definitely make collecting... Um, so can you collect silage with this? I should say you should be able to. Just drive in and collect your silage and go sell it. Okay, it automatically turns off. Fantastic. Alright, so let's head back. We'll get this put in the bunker. I... What do you call it where you are? Do you call it a bunker silo? Do you call it a, uh, a clamp? <clears throat> do you call it a silage pit? What do you call it where you are? I mean, over here where I am, I think we call it a clamp. I'm not entirely sure though. I'm not a farmer by any means. And um, I don't really see that many 
Farmers over here, well, around where I am anyway, dealing grass for cattle. It's mainly all potatoes and actually let's put all we'll steer onto this bit. Right, so how's this thing on load? Try and get right in the corner if I can. This action cannot be performed here. Really? What? That was weird. Oh, just keep driving back and forward. Oh, I don't know why it didn't let me do it further back. That was... Hmm. Can't see why it wouldn't let me. Still. <clears throat> is what it is. Let's get this uh, field done. And that will be the end of this episode. I just wanted to get a head start. On, uh, on the silage for the cows, get that fermenting. Yes, we do have some TMR uh, already <clears throat> already in uh, our silo. Uh, and if you want to know how I've done that, I'll quickly show you. Uh, what did I do? So, over here, you can actually buy the surrounding areas. If, if I show you that first, it's going to be easier. Let's go on here. If you buy the surrounding area, like the roads and the things like that, like the outer barrier, you can do what I do. And uh, let me just get the map up and I'll try and remember. Uh, I think it is over here somewhere. Out the way, out of the boundary, I have put two multi-fruit silos. So I can put whatever I want. On my farm. I'm just trying to now remember where I put them. Hmm. Where did I put them? I think they might be over here. I know I did put two, <clears throat> two multi fruit silos down somewhere. Where are you, multi fruit silos? I'm more than sure I put them around here somewhere. Maybe down this boundary. I know they are on, on the boundary. Just me trying... Oh, here we go. Here they are. So, what I did, this is a field that you cannot buy. It is out of the boundary, as you can see. At the side of field 11 and 12, at the bottom right of the map. I, because <clears throat> I bought that area, I literally placed two of these multi-fruit silo bins here which means now my silos can accept everything at the main farm which is fantastic for me and absolutely brilliant and makes my life a lot easier so then the farm has stayed the same there is no visual change to the farm i haven't had to put a silo over here but to get those bins over there, you have to first put a silo down that you can dump in, then place these down, and then you sell the silo that you can empty into, and the two bins will stay here, and you can use multi-fruit, and they're not in the way, they're not an eyesore, and they're not on your farm, and you can have multi-fruit. So, there's a bit of knowledge for you on this map, by the outer boundary put some multi-fruit silo bins out the way and then you can put multi-fruit and everything in your silo at your farm which is brilliant but honestly I didn't really check to see if you could do multi-fruit multi on this map anyway with your silo but I'm not taking any chances oh I'm really liking this little Linda oh Linda nah. I really need to start putting that D on it. 
and that sounded wrong on so many levels. Oh dear, YouTube's going to have a nice time with me. Oh, he said the D. Oh, well, brain fart central, won't be the first time, won't be the last. But still. Did I just leave a bit down there? Yeah, we're not having a... Oh, night lights, night's lights as well. Let's just grab that piece. There we go. Turn the lights back off. Okay. Right, so I'm going to crack on with this. We're going to get a little... Oh, oh definitely easier to turn that. Uh, we're going to get in a little montage. And we'll get all this done. I am not going to blanket it because we still have all those other grass fields that aren't going to need doing. I will off screen get that done. And uh, get it all loaded in here. It's going to take a while, that's for sure. But still... Let's empty this out, shall we? There we go. Do it. This is a nifty little machine. I really like it. Right, so, montage time. I'll see you all when that field's near enough done. So we're back, just two little passes left, this little bit here, and then we've got that strip just down there, and that is this field done. I really am impressed with this little thing, I mean, yes it hasn't got the greatest capacity, but you can stay at a steady 12 mile an hour, and there's a piece over there, I've just got to get that, it's little bug, oh and over there. There and there. There we go. Right. But like I said, it does have a pretty small capacity, but you can stay at a steady 12 miles per hour. It's self-propelled, absolutely brilliant, and uh, it fits perfectly on our farm anyway. So that is always a massive bonus. looking around this thing and all these bells and whistles and the lights right is that it did I seriously miss them two pieces ah oh dear right well let's just get them two little pieces and then that will be the end of this episode You'll have to let me know when you play this map, where, what farm did you pick, what equipment do you have? I'd like to, I'd like to know, because I'm nosy. And I like the, the axle on this, it like, it tilts. I don't know if it's going to do it now. No. But you can do a mean skid in this. Oh, it's not going to do it now. But just off that field, we've got all of this. And I mean, this little Lindna has definitely made life easier. I mean, if you had the Chrome Big M and this running around in the field, if you was on PC, you could just have about four of these just following you. Going back and forth, because I know you can set it, whereas when this is full, it can drive over, it can dump, and all this, that, and over, and all that. But just off of that little field, we got all of this. Let's put on the, um, the old help menu. What did we get? 73,507. Just off of that dinky little field there. I don't think that's bad going at all. I mean, I'm really impressed by that. 
really impressed. Nice. So, I've got a lot of work to do. I've got a lot of grass fields to get cut. Gonna get that done. And uh, in the next episode, hopefully, you will see me blanketing the silo as we're going to be preparing to uh, get some more planting done. Because it's still uh, mid-spring. Jump down. Break my legs. And uh, we're going to be needing to get some crops in the ground. As you can see, we are now able to do soybeans and corn. <clears throat> the possibility is always there to do those. But that is going to be it for the end of this episode. I hope you did enjoy it. We got to see this beautiful little Lindner. Uh, we got to see our John Deere. We got to see the little arm track over there. All in one episode. And this is absolutely filthy and it's only been in that field. Hmm. As always though, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you here real soon. On Six Ashes.